This summer, it will be 75 years since the Empire Windrush arrived at Tilbury Docks. On the ship that arrived in Britain on the 22nd of June 1948 were many of the first migrants to arrive in this country. And this is how it was reported at the time. Even in the bitterest months, the tide of West Indian immigrants never ceased to flow. As they sailed in their hundreds to Britain in search of jobs, Anna Windrush brings to Britain 500 Jamaicans, citizens of the British Empire coming to the mother country with good intent. Well, many on board were from the Caribbean, and today we know them as the Windrush Generation. To mark the anniversary, a project is underway to record the contributions of those surviving members of a moment in history that has undoubtedly changed the face of modern Britain. Well, to tell us more, and joining us in the studio now is the founder of Black History Month South, Don John. Don, thank you for coming in. You're welcome. So it was 1948, the country had just come out of war. Mm. Who was on board the Windrush? Well, many people from Jamaica, St Vincent, Trinidad, and, other of the, uh, and many of the islands in, in the Caribbean were on board. And the whole idea is to, is to trace people who were on board. Many of, I guess many would be in their 90s, but I, were there younger people? Were there children on board as well? Well, there were children on board, so there were some younger people there. And, uh, of course, many sadly have passed away. But this will give many the opportunity to be able to record why they came, what they did when they first arrived, and what were their experiences with a whole variety of different factors such as housing, such as uh, education and employment, and what were the kind of experiences that they'd never experienced before. And I'm thinking about things like the first time people encountered snow. And there are many stories of people seeing chimneys, for instance, and they all thought they were bakeries because, of course, you don't experience many chimneys in the Caribbean. So this will give us an opportunity to capture some really fantastic stories. But let's not forget also there were many stories that weren't so pleasant. Remember these were the days of no blacks, no Irish, no dogs. So there were many difficult experiences that people had and we certainly want to capture the good times and the bad times. And, and why? What do we do with that information? Well, I think it will give people a much more comprehensive idea of the experiences of people from the Caribbean. Because remember also, the Caribbean community were really the foundation of, the, of, of establishing a multiracial society in this country. And many other migrants came after that. But the Caribbean community laid that foundation. And I think we'll learn a lot from the manner in which the Caribbean people interacted with people in this country. And I guess people of that generation might be thinking, well, my story's been told before, it's insignificant, who's going to want to hear it? You really, you know, from, from everyone, from anyone, they can get in touch. Well, everybody should get in touch if they have a connection with the Windrush generation. The thing is, is that sometimes people think their personal lives have no value. I would say, Everybody's experience is valuable, but also it will help us to be able to tell the history of the nation as well. Because black history, Caribbean history, is a significant part of the history of the UK. And it will give us many, many fantastic perspectives of how things have been over the last 75 years. So we would encourage as many people as possible to approach us. Don, we're putting all that information on our website. Good luck with the project and thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thank you.